Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Let's confirm we're on the same page. So if you can see my screen and you can hear my voice clearly, I would appreciate that you type in hi in the comment section so that we can get this session started. hello all right okay what do we have right here in the comment section okay gustin good morning hello kaskoa from namibia all right glad to have you around fabrice Carlton, good morning hey carrie good morning to you noise really right now Uh oh, let's see, let's see what's happening here. How about now? Okay, it's better. All right, thank you. All right, um, let's see this as a confirmation that we are good to go this morning. I welcome you to another promising session on the extra speed. My name is Sheriff Daramola, and as usual, we shall be uh, evaluating the financial markets in the next one hour where we shall be looking at the market structures using technical parameters to identify trading opportunities lining up for us today and as usual we will be reviewing all the pairs we have been monitoring since the beginning of the week and in fact we have begun to see some traction in the last 24 hours and price action has been moving accordingly well in most of um, on all the pairs we have been talking about since the beginning of the week and we shall be looking at the spares and if there are any advices i'll be letting you know and before we go into the market i would like to share with you what we are looking forward to today in terms of the macroeconomic event and here we have we have the most anticipated high impact um macroeconomic event in the form of the consumer price index which is coming up in let's say in, an, in, a, in two hours 30 minutes from now and we shall going to be looking at how this is going to our price action is going to be reacting to this level um, to the current structures in the market and we begin to see some traction already in that regard so we are going to be looking at how we want to position ourselves in such a way that we can catch that move when it finally happens so with that being said let's dive into the chat right now and the first um, commodity we are going to be talking about this morning is the u.s oil as usual and for the u.s oil in fact since on 
Wednesday, that is yesterday, we've begun to see some traction as price action did another breakout of the $75 level here to give us an opportunity to buy. And then we saw our price took out the $76 level area too as well an area which has been a strong selling niche for participants in the market on tuesday so we saw the breakout retest of that level and it was another good opportunity for us to add one more position to the existing trade and then if you fast forward into the later part of the new york session yesterday we saw another position as we saw the breakout of the 77 dollar level and remember what i told you yesterday regarding the 77 dollar area we said we go to remain patient as soon as price tests the 77 dollar level we are going to see how price is going to react to that current structure to determine if we are going to be buying added more position to our existing trade or we are going to be selling at that point and in fact price broke out of that structure and then we saw another opportunity to buy and price action move accordingly in our favor however during the early hours of today we saw the structure here at the 78 dollar level which has been a strong selling niche for the past 12 hours and last hour here uh, we saw the breakout of that structure which gave us an opportunity to buy and um, for those who had missed out on this opportunity first of all congrats to everyone who are taking advantage of this buy position since Wednesday since yesterday as you will currently be in profit at this point and if you are taking only one position right now you will be in over 300 pips in profit let alone taking multiple entries so congrats to you if you had been on taking advantage of this move and for those who had missed out on these opportunities here uh, well we are going to be um, evaluated the current market structure and let's see if there is going to be another chance that the market will be presenting to us to add more position to our existing trade now before we go into the details here i would like us to scale up to the daily time frame let's quickly run through the holistic perspective of what's really going on in this market in order to make a decision for today so here we are on the daily time frame and if you remember how what we talked what we said about this current structure here after considering the long-term bearish momentum that we had here a bearish momentum that started the month of june last year uh you can see we have this trend line figured out after price action has consistently respected that trend line however since the month of september here we saw how price action had remained within a consolidation phase between the 93 dollar 50 cent level which has been serving as a resistant point of that channel and the 75 dollar area which has been serving has the support level of the channel and during the first week of the month of december that was last month we saw a break up breakdown of that 75 dollar level after price action did uh, multiple rejection of the $80 level and since price broke down the $75 level here price action came back to close the year at around the $80 area and since the beginning of the year this year we saw that um, selling pressure started below the $80 level rejected that structure and we saw engulfed candle that took price to break down the $75 level one more time and remember we took advantage of this opportunity as we are still very profitable on our portfolio on the US oil portfolio um, for this year now with the current structure we have here and considering the fact that as soon as price tested the $73 level here we saw that price was unable to break the previous low hereby giving us a higher low at this point and whenever we have a higher low from a technical standpoint we expect that bullish momentum is gradually coming in at this point and what we saw after the test of the $73 level was a bullish potential within a consolidation phase and finally price broke out of the $75 level during the course of yesterday's trading session to emphasize some buying strength in this current structure at this point so right now we are already in the buy position we have about four 
four positions running at this particular point in time and i've told you to move your stop loss accordingly to lock in some profit here and as we head into the new york session today we want to understand what the market structure is saying here to decide if we are going to be added more position to our existing trade or we are going to be looking for what's probably another reversal pattern at this point so looking at the daily time frame here what we are going to be looking at is a possible situation since we already have a breakout of the 75 dollar level yesterday from a technical standpoint there is a likelihood that price might come back to do the retest of the 75 dollar level to incite another wave of bullish momentum that is one scenario that we're also going to be taking into consideration as we do our analysis on the lower time frame and then the other scenario that could happen here is price action might likely continue after a trade continuation pattern around here on the lower time frame um hereby um, breaking out of the structure to continue into the $80 level, a level which also shares a confluence with that bearish trend line that we identified earlier. So with that situation here, we might be having a situation where price will uh, transition into a reversal pattern, selling pressure below the structure to incite another wave of bearish momentum. And if price finally breaks out of the $80 level, then that will be the first time it will be doing so in the last one month. And if that happened that will be giving us um, a confirmation that um, buyers are, st are becoming stronger in this market and if we start seeing buy pressure around the 80 dollar level or right above the structure on our lower time frame it will be a very good opportunity to add more position to our existing trade so these are the views we are going to be looking at on the lower time frame so in that regard and with the information we have here on the daily time frame we shall be scaling down to the lower time frame let's see what is really going on around here that is the 78 dollar area to decide what our next line of action will be for today and if we scale down to the one hour time frame this is what we can see here hold on a second all right so here we are on the one hour time frame now and remember we took advantage of the buy position at the breakout of the 75 dollar level yesterday and price action has continued to climb to the upside it broke out of that bearish trend line we identified that we said it's going to be our yardstick for trading activity yesterday we said we are going to be using this for those who had missed out on the buy position here we said we will be using this trend line and the 76 dollar area as if we price breaks out of that structure we want to be joining that bullish momentum to the upside and since then price has continued to climb to the higher side uh, with about 400 pips there about with the first position running on those point so going into the new york session today what is going to be our plans well with the current breakout of the 78 dollar level that you can see here i'm of the opinion that for those who had missed out on this opportunity we want to remain patient and see if price action will be doing some retest of that structure to incite another wave of bullish momentum at this point so for those who had missed out on this position here i will be advising you to remain patient and let's see how price price action will react to that current structure at the $78 level so what we are going to be looking forward to is price coming back to do a retest and if it does that followed by buying pressure right here on our lower time frame then this would be a good opportunity to join that rally to the upside and if you're already in this trade this would be a perfect situation to add more position to our existing trade here by having about six positions running on this one so our tp tiger still remain around the $80 level here remember how important this key level is on the daily time frame let me show you so that you can see how important it is so this is the daily time frame here and um, the 80 dollar mark is around this point see how this level has been holding selling pressure for some time uh, it happened here in the month of november we had a situation here the first day of the month of december here and then during the 
last day of last year we saw selling pressure around here and during the beginning of this year we saw selling pressure from that point so you can see how the 80 dollar level has been a strong selling niche in the last couple of months so we want to be patient that is where our take profit target will be right now and we want to be patient when price gets into the structure as we want to see our price action will react to that level to decide if we are going to be adding more position to our existing trade or we are going to be getting ready to sell the us oil so at this point in time as price continue to approach our tp target area we move our stop loss accordingly lock in some profit we don't want to lose out on whatever we had made so far and as soon as price gets into the 80 dollar level we move our stop loss closer again probably somewhere around the 79 dollar 50 cent level and let's see how price action will react to that structure so these are the two things we are going to be seeing here if price gets into the 80 dollar level if we start seeing sharp rejection of that structure where price action transition into a reversal pattern with sudden pressure on our lower time frame then we might likely be getting ready to join a decline to the downside so we want to be selling at that particular point in time when this kind of situation happens however if price action breaks out of the 80 dollar level that would be a good sign that buyers are gradually coming in so we have a situation where price action will have taken out all the sell position here at the breakout of that structure and if we are lucky enough we start seeing buy pressure around this level then it will be a good opportunity to add more position to our existing trade here on the u.s oil so these are the scenarios we are looking forward to here on the u.s oil it's a very simple setup we have here this morning so we are going to be using the 78 dollar level as a yardstick for an opportunity to add more position to our existing trade and this is how we said we are going to be using it we want to see price do some retest of that structure uh with buy pressure around that area then we want to be joining the rally to the upside so remember our tippets i guess still remains around the 80 dollar area let's see how price action plays out in the next couple of hours and um if you have any questions whatsoever regarding what i just explained so far feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section um, of this um, of this video you're watching right now so let's see what's happening i'll be taking the next 10 to 15 seconds to read through the chats and see if there are any questions whatsoever before i move on to the next pair okay uh so what do we have here good morning all right um 117 good morning to you speeding 90 good morning all right Bo Bumar. all right i hope i pronounced that correctly good morning to you hazen good morning glad to have you around all right so in the absence of no questions i want to assume that we are all on the same page here it's quite explanatory the current structure is quite explanatory so we shall be moving on to the next pair so the next pair we are going to be looking at this morning i mean the next option we are going to be looking at this morning is the u.s tech so on the u.s tech we also have a profitable situation running here so remember at the beginning of the week we initially identified a channel between the 11,100 so we had the resistant point of the channel here and then we also had the support level of the channel at around the 11,050 so we were looking out for either a breakout of the channel or breakdown to give us a signal of where price action will be going and lucky enough for us on Monday new york session we saw the breakout of that resistant level of the channel at the 11,100, which gave us an opportunity to buy and in fact we took advantage of that opportunity as price rode and gave us about 200 pips before we saw this bearish momentum that took price back into the channel that where price started this week so with the situation here and um, during the live session yesterday uh, we were already in the buy position after we took advantage of another retest of that structure at 11,100. This is going to be the second time we are buying from that level this week. And during the live session yesterday, we were around here. Where were we doing the live? Okay, we were around the 11,200. So we were able to identify that structure at 11,200. 
and one thing i said had the 11,200 is the fact that we are going to be using that to guide our trading activity for the new york session yesterday in addition to that is this trend line we said we are going to be using as if price continue to trade above the 11,200 and the bullish trend line here we continue to feel comfortable in our buy position and what did we see here during the new york session yesterday we saw the breakout greatest of that structure giving us a good opportunity to buy and in fact we joined that move from that level we saw another breakout of the 11,300 remember i told you that this level has been the selling pressure at the beginning of the week we want to see a breakout retest of that structure to add more position to our existing trade and this is exactly what happened here we were able to join that rally from there and as soon as price got into the 11,400 in the last 10 hours now we have been witnessing selling pressure from that structure so at this point in time i want to congratulate those who are taking advantage of all these opportunities we had here as you will currently be in profit if you are taking the first position you will be about 280 pips in profit and if you are taking the second position here you will be in about 870 and the third position here during the later part of the new york session yesterday you will be in about 80 pips in profit so congratulations to everyone who have been part of this profitable journey so the next thing we want to be doing right now is to um lock in some profits obviously we don't want to lose out on all the profits we had made so far so we want to be locking some profit here uh, protect our position against any sudden pullback that might happen at this point in time so for this current situation here i will be looking at 11,340 as an area where we shall be moving our stop loss on all positions on the u.s tech and going into the new york session today what is going to be our plans how do we intend to trade this and for those who had missed out on this buy position here do we still have another opportunity to add more position to our existing trade how are we going to be having a situation where sellers will be coming in gradually where we might be having a situation price action breaks down the bullish trend line to incite a sell-off for today well these are the things we are going to be looking at um, during the live session today but before we go into the details here let's quickly run through the um daily time frame let's have an holistic view of what is really going on here so that we can anticipate anticipate the um possible price movement that might likely happen for today so in that regard we shall be scaling up to the daily time frame here and on the daily time frame remember that we had um, the situation here figured out that price action has been on a long-term bearish momentum since the beginning of the year of last year rather and we had this bearish trend line figured out after connecting the series of lower heights however during the month of um june last year we saw how the 11,100 has been rejecting any selling pressure so as soon as price tested eleven thousand dollar level we begin to see buy pressure come in from that structure the same thing happened here in the month of october as we saw another buy pressure come in here but unfortunately for the buyers we saw that sellers were so strong at eleven thousand seven hundred negating all buy pressure at that point pushing price further to the downside to have a new demand zone at around the ten thousand six hundred dollar level and looking at the eleven thousand dollar level here we can see how the structure here has been consistent with buying pressure in the last six months giving us a clue of how strong that level is so at the beginning of the year we were able to use the eleven thousand dollar area as a structure we shall be using to guide our trading activity and one thing we said about this current structure is the fact that following this impulsive move that is the last time price action tested that bearish trend line we saw this impulsive move that brought price back into this demand zone had a 10,600 and what we saw afterward was quite interesting as we saw how price action transitioned into something that looks like a reversal pattern in the form of a double bottom structure and whenever we have a double bottom structure like this the next thing we want to be doing is to have a neckline for that pattern and that neckline will definitely be the yardstick for trading activity as if a breakout of that structure happens it's going to be a good confirmation that this is a mature reversal pattern and we want to be getting ready to buy at that point and this is exactly what happened here 
um, during the course of this week we saw the breakout of that structure and lucky enough for us we were able to take advantage of this bullish momentum and we are still run we're still currently in that bullish momentum at this particular point in time so congrats once again to everyone who has been part of this bullish momentum since the beginning of this week so right now what is going to be our expectation based on this current structure so because of this now i would like to call our attention to what happened here in the month of november here between the month of november and the mid month of december where we noticed our price action was caught within a channel between the twelve thousand one hundred dollar level and the eleven thousand five hundred area and we saw a situation where price finally did the breakdown of the eleven thousand five hundred that is the support level of the channel here with a huge engulfing candle breaking down that structure into that demand zone and from a technical standpoint whenever we have a breakdown of a structure like this we should expect that one point in time price is likely going to come back and do a retest of that structure which appears to be what is happening right now as you can see price action as is gradually approaching the eleven thousand five hundred dollar level so at this point our tp target should be sitting around the eleven thousand five hundred in the meantime and let's see how price action is going to be reacting to this current structure so one of the things we are going to be seeing if price gets into that structure well uh one of the things one of the situation or one of the scenarios we want to be seeing when price gets to the structure is one price might likely do some rejection of that level where selling pressure could likely come in transition into a reversal pattern on our lower time frame where we start seeing something like this that price might bring back into the eleven thousand dollar level and you know that the eleven thousand dollar level was broken during the first day of this week and we might likely see it to situation where price will come back do a retest of that structure before the incitation of another bullish move remember we are still price is still above that um eleven thousand dollar level and at the same time still above that demand zone so anywhere above the structure is an area where we will be looking out for buying opportunity so we might likely see a situation where price comes back to do a retest of the eleven thousand five hundred inside a a uh, profit taking activity which will reflect on the chart as a retracement of the previous impulse leg before another bullish momentum will happen so we want to be mindful of what happens around here as it will be determining if we are going to be buying or or selling at that point now if a breakout of that eleven thousand five hundred dollar level happens well we might be looking forward to have some position at that point but if you are a very cautious person you might hold on and see wait out to see how price action will react to the eleven thousand seven hundred dollar level because we also have a key structure around that area remember how that level had been a major selling niche in the past year so that was the second key level we have here on this current structure so we might want to see how price will react to that structure in order to know if we are going to be buying or selling so if selling pressure comes below the structure we might be getting ready to sell and if price breaks out of the eleven thousand seven hundred, we might be getting ready to buy so at this point let's see what happens afterward place your take profit target somewhere between the eleven thousand five hundred and the eleven thousand six hundred let's see how price action will react to that current structure and whatever happens there will determine what our next line of action will be so scaling back down to the one hour time frame so that we can make a decision for today and for those who had missed out on these opportunities that we've been enjoying since the beginning of the week so what i'll be saying for those who had missed out on these opportunities is that one since we already have a breakout of 11,300 a level which was holding by selling pressure at one point at the beginning of this week and we saw the breakout of that structure to emphasize that buyers are strong they've taken out all the sell position here then we might likely see a situation where price will come back do a retest of that 11,300 and if you look at the current structure here the 11,300 also shares a confluence with this bullish trend line that we have here and if price comes into that structure with buy pressure around that area on our lower time frame we want to be had in more position to our existing trade and the further breakout of the eleven thousand four hundred dollar level should be giving us another opportunity to add more position to our existing trade here on the us tech so this is what we are going to be looking forward to here so for those who had missed out on this opportunity let's remain patient and see if the selling pressure we have been witnessing here in the last 
10 hours will continue to hold and if it holds that means we are going to be seeing how far this is going to go if it comes into the structure here you immediately scale down to your lower time frame you look out for buy pressure then you join that rally to the upside now if price action drops into the eleven thousand three hundred dollar level here which also shares a conference with that bullish trend line and what we see here instead of sites seeing a buy buy pressure on our lower time frame instead and instead we now see a breakdown of the trend line and the eleven thousand three hundred dollar level i want us to be seeing this as a bearish signal as you can see the bullish trend line up will appear not to be able to be strong enough to hold that bullish momentum any longer so if a breakdown of the eleven thousand three hundred dollar level happens with selling pressure below the structure then this would be a good um situation for us to join a sell opportunity to the downside from this point so let's be mindful of what happens if this sell pressure continues to the downside here to the 11,300 let's remain patient around that structure to see how price action will react to that level before jumping into any uh, position at that point then if price does not go that far to the downside and instead it climbs or breaking out of the 11,400 then we want to be looking at a retest of structure in our lower time frame to give us an opportunity to add more position to our existing trade and if you are joining right above the 11,400 uh, you will be having a minimum of about 100 pips they are about to catch there as you know our tp targets is a place around that structure where we said we are going to be waiting out to see how price action will react to that structure to determine if we are going to be adding more position to our existing trade or we are going to be selling from that level so that is my view here on the u.s tech if you have any questions regarding what i just explained so far feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section of this video so i will be taking some 10 15 seconds to reach the chat and see if there are any questions before we move on to the next pair so what do we have here okay um all right six nine eight thanks okay you're welcome all right all right okay all right so in the absence of no question i want to assume that we on we are on the same page here so in that regard we shall be moving on to the next pair so the next pair we are going to be looking at this morning is the usd jpy and on the usd jpy uh, things has been a little bit interesting here and um uh, one of our setups was actually triggered at this point so during the live session yesterday where were we so let's quickly do a replay of what our expectations were during the live session yesterday so as at yesterday live session we were around the 132.5 at so this is where we were during the live session yesterday and if you remember vividly we had a buy position running after taking advantage of this breakout of the resistant level had the 132.250 area remember we had this channel at the beginning of the week where we were waiting for either a breakout or a breakdown of the channel to give us an opportunity to either buy or sell and we saw the breakout retest of the structure here so as of yesterday's live session we already had a buy position running which i told you to move your stop loss to break even at that point as we wait out and see if price is going to be breaking out and retesting the 132.5 at and in fact during the new york session yesterday we saw the breakout retest of that level we added another position here and as soon as price continued to the upside doing a retest of the 132.850 we moved our stop loss accordingly locked in some profit but unfortunately for the buyers price action dropped below the 132.580 to take us out of all our buy positions on the usd jpy and remember we had we had this bear, this bullish trend line figured out we said the bullish trend line will continue to guide our trading activity yesterday and what we how did we say we are going to be using it to guide it well we said if price continue to trade above the bullish trend line we continue to use the bullish trend line to guide bullish momentum to the upside that is one scenario we stated yesterday and then the other scenario is that if price breaks down the bullish trend line here uh, which also shares a confluence with the 132.580 
then a retest of that structure should be giving us an opportunity to join that decline to the downside and in fact we saw a retest of that structure a couple of times retest of the 132.580 and it was a very good opportunity for us to join that decline to the downside at this point and if you had been part of that trade kudos to you for being on standby to catch that move as it happened as price action has moved over how many pips now from that point price action has moved over 150 pips since price broke down retest the 132.580 so congrats to everyone who has been part of this trade for me personally i had my tp target sitting around the 131.500 as you can see we identified the structure yesterday as a strong demand zone as that was our resistant point for that week and i shared this on my public platform this morning where i said if price action breaks down the 131.500 level we want to be looking forward to adding more position to our exit in trade and in fact price broke it down and it was a good leverage for us to join and if you had joined that too as well you will be in about 50 pips in profit at this particular point in time and so for those who had joined this move this morning below the 131.500 at this point in time i will be suggesting us to move our stop loss to break even as we don't want to lose out on any of the profit we have made so far so moving your stop loss to break even at this point is very reasonable so that we can see our price action will react to the 131.00 level to decide if we are going to be adding more position to our sell trade or we should be getting ready to join a bullish momentum from that level and talking about the 131.00 level remember how important that structure is on our daily time frame for those who are not part of our previous sessions let's quickly run through the daily time frame and let me show you how important the 131.00 level is so right now we are back on the daily time frame here and um, at the beginning of the year and even at the beginning of this week we were able to identify the 131.00 level as a key level that we shall be using to guide traded activities for the year and if you look at what has happened around the 131.00 level in the last six months you will understand you will realize how important that structure is look at what happened here in the month of may we saw how this level was holding selling pressure at that particular point in time and during the month of june we saw the breakout of the 131 point zero zero level and since the breakout happened here we saw how price has consistently remain above the 131.00 area as you can see here every attempt by the sellers to break down the structure has been met with strong resistance from the buyers so we saw the first touch here in june we saw another touch here in the month of august by pressure coming there again then if we zoom into um, the month of december here we saw another buy pressure coming around that area and at the beginning of the year remember we took advantage of this bullish momentum here had they wanted a 1.00 level again so you can see how that level has been a strong buying niche and in that regard we were able to identify that area as a demand zone so this is our demand zone going forward and as long as price remains above that demand zone we want to continue to look out for buying opportunity so now with this information we have here let's zoom into what has been happening here in the last couple of weeks now if you look at the structure here and considering this bearish trend line remember we had this bearish trend line figured out since the month of october price has been going bearish uh, finding lower lows and lower highs and if we connect the series of lower highs here we had that bearish trend line figured out and uh, following the buy, buy position we took last week, remember we took advantage of this bullish momentum and as soon as price got into the 135 area which also shares a confluence with the bearish trend line, we begin to see sudden pressure come in from that structure and in fact the same thing happened here yesterday we saw price come into the 132.700 respecting that bearish trend line and currently price has dropped back into the 131.00 level so at this point we are at a very critical point in this market right now as price action continue to oscillate around the 131.00 area so now remember what i told you yesterday i said um if a further breakdown of the 131.00 level happens then this might likely be a very good opportunity to join a decline to the downside as a breakdown of the 131.00 level will be a good sign 
that um, sellers have taken out all the buy position here, gaining some liquidity. And if selling pressure continues below the structure on our lower time frame, we want to be adding more position to our existing trade. So these are my views here on the USDJPY. And for this, for today, we will continue to monitor our price action is going to be reacting to the 131.00 level. And remember, we have a major event coming up today. That's the CP high. It's a high impact event and this is likely going to bring in some liquidity into the market and if it does we are going to be seeing a huge move in price movement and we want to be positioning ourselves in such a way that we can catch that move when it happens so how do we do that to catch the move when it happens so one thing we are going to be looking forward to around this area is one if buy pressure comes in here we are going to be scaling down to the lower time frame to look at this don't worry if buy pressure comes in here like um, a reversal pattern it could be a double bottom structure a inverse head and shoulder pattern or a falling wedge whatever it is if it happens there then we want to be getting ready to join that bullish momentum to the upside so we are going to be identifying a channel around there to guide this trading activity however if price breaks down the structure during the new york session today with selling pressure below that level then we'll have no choice than to continue to add more position to our existing trade so in that regard let's scale down to the lower time frame let's see how price action is reacting with the 131 level prior to the macroeconomic event coming up today so this is where we are right now on the one hour time frame and as you can see here this is the 131.00 level we identified on the daily time frame and as you can see here in the last couple of hours price action has remained around that area so we are going to be looking forward to see how price is going to relate to the structure so we will likely need like two three hours for some structures to evolve before we can be making a decision of either buying or selling the x the usd jpy at this point so to sell the usd jpy here we want to see price break down the 131.00 level with a retest of structure selling pressure on our lower time frame then we could add more position to our existing trade here so that is how we are going to be selling it we want to see a breakdown of the 131.00 level um selling pressure on our lower time frame then we join that decline to the downside however if the situation here transposes into a double bottom structure or continue by pressure above the 131.00 level on our lower time frame a breakout retest should give us an opportunity to buy and if price breaks out retest and continues to the upside if for the breakout of the 131.500 will be giving us another opportunity to add more position to our existing trade so we'll continue to use all the structures to guide our bullish momentum if price action continues to the upside remember we have the 132.250 here we also have the 132.850 also had us point so these are the structures we are going to be using to guide bullish momentum if price continues to the upside from this level so it's a very simple setup we have here the only structure we have here to guide our trading activity is the 131.00 level a level which we identified at the beginning of the year and we have stated that this level will guide our trading activity at least for the first quarter of this year so a breakdown of the one 131.00 level with selling pressure below the structure on our lower time frame will be giving us an opportunity to sell and if price action continue to fight by pressure right above the structure on our lower time frame then we'll continue to, we anticipate an opportunity to buy this at this point and a breakout retest we join that rally to the upside so these are the scenarios we shall be looking forward to on the USDJPY for today. If you have any questions, feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section of this video. So let me take the next 10 15 seconds to reach through the chat and see if there are any questions before moving on to the next pair. Okay. Uh, greetings good morning good morning to 260 good morning to you 489 greetings hey steam roller good morning to you it's been a while since i saw you trust you're doing well <laughs> i didn't see you this week at all and how's work yeah we are doing gp usd today of course gp usd is one of the pairs we have been monitoring since the beginning of the week and definitely we are going to be taking a look at it too as well we have a profitable position there too 
all right um four eight nine okay okay all right um two six zero from Malaysia. good morning okay gabriel panzaro wants us to do cat chf well 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 uh, let's see let's see what happens if i'm able to finish the um ps we are we have been reviewing since the beginning of the week before time i will try to um do something on the cat chf okay all right in the absence of no questions let's move on to the next pair so the next pair we are going to be looking at this morning is the xau usd and on the xau usd we also have a beautiful situation here as um we saw buy pressure resume here on the xau usd remember since the beginning of the week we have been looking for selling pressure as we had this beautiful channel between the 1880 that was the resistant level for this channel this week and we had a support level of the channel somewhere above around the 1865 level and during the live session yesterday uh this is where we were during the live session yesterday okay hold on a second let's see all right okay we were around the $1,885 level here where we um we laid emphasis on the significance of selling pressure coming in around this level so you can see what happened prior to the live session yesterday we were seeing certain pressure here and what we said yesterday was that if price breaks out of that structure at that point in time with buying pressure above that level we want to be buying but if at any point in time during the new york session price breaks down the 1880 with retest of structure in our lower time frame we want to be joining that decline to the downside and this is exactly what happened during the new york session yesterday we saw the breakdown of the 1880 and we were able to join about over a thousand pips move at this point as price action came back to the demand zone that we identified here on tuesday and at, as soon as price at that level we begin to see buy pressure come in from that level so we were able to take about a thousand pips on the xausd yesterday so kudos to you for being on standby to catch that move now with the continued buy pressure around this level at the 1872 uh we were seeing this as a sign that buyers is likely going to be coming in at this point and to guide that bullish momentum here we were using the 1876 dollar area where a breakout retest of that structure will be a good opportunity to buy the xausd and in fact that was what happened a breakout retest of that structure and price has continued to climb to the upside from that level congrats to those who are taking advantage of that move as you will currently be running with about 800 pips in profit at this point in time so now as we go into the new york session today what is going to be our plans what are our expectations and for those who have actually missed out on these opportunities what are we going to be looking forward to to be able to have more position and join that potential rally to the upside if that's going to what if that's going to be what's going to be happening today so um for this session today and for us to guide our trading activity i've been able to identify um two structures here and one is the 1885 which has been a strong selling niche since wednesday here and if we look at what has been happening in the last um 10 hours here we can see that price action has been rejecting that level for the emphasis emphasizing some level of strength for the sellers at this point in the market so we need to be very very careful here so for those who are taking advantage of this buy position here i would advise that you move your stop loss accordingly lock in some profit here and let's see how far this um, sell pressure will go will, will it hold or are we going to be seeing a breakout of that structure so somewhere around the 1880 dollar level seems most appropriate to lock in some profit here so let's lock in some profit there and let's see how far this is going to go 
So, for those who had missed out on the buy position, well, we are going to be waiting for a breakout of the 1885 level to give us an opportunity to buy the XAU USD. And if you're already in this buy position, this will be a very good chance for us to add more position to our existing trade on the XAU USD. Well, I didn't have any position above the 1880 here. And the reason why that is simply because of the sell pressure that we observed here yesterday at the 1885. So, I want to see price take out all the sell position here to give me a confirmation that buyers are actually very strong at this point so if a breakout of the 1885 does not happen we are not going to be thinking of adding any position to our existing trade then the other scenario that we should be looking forward to is a possible breakdown of the 1880 and if a breakdown of the 1880 happens uh selling pressure below this level should be giving us an opportunity to join that decline to the downside so these are the scenarios we are looking forward to on the XAUUSD for today. So we already have a simple setup here, and that is the um, 1885 breakout retest of that structure gives us an opportunity to buy, and a breakdown retest of the 1880 will give us an opportunity to sell the XAUUSD. And one thing about the 1880 is the fact that it shares a confluence with that bullish trend line that has been guiding bullish momentum since the beginning of this week. So if price breaks down the 1880, 880 here it's more or less a sign that the bullish trend line is no longer strong enough to hold by pressure and we want to be joining that decline to the downside and a further breakdown of the 1876 will welcome additional position so we want to continue to ride that move all the way down probably into the 1000 860 as the case may be so these are my scenarios here on the xaus it's a very simple setup here so there's no point going to the daily time frame at those points let's just monitor the 1085885 you can have your buy stop right above that structure so that you can catch that move or you wait out to for the breakout then go down to your lower time frame look out for buying pressure around that level then you want to be joining that rally to the upside uh for me personally i'm of the opinion that we might likely see a breakdown of the 1880 as we anticipate the cpi coming up in two hours from now so i'm of the opinion that we might be having a breakdown of the 1880 because of the um selling pressure we have been witnessing around here since the beginning of the week so let's see what happens anyway whatever the structure gives us is what we are going to be doing so that is that on the xau usd if you have questions feel free to drop your inquiries on the comment section as we continue to the next pair so the next pair we are going to be looking at and i think that's the last pair we are going to be treating if we are able to do this right in time then we will be looking at the card chf as suggested by gabriel all right so this is the gbp usd here and on gp usd we are beginning to see some bullish momentum coming gradually on this one and during the live session yesterday we were around those points uh during the live session yesterday we were around here that is the 1200 one sorry <laughs> The 1.21250 level, this is where we were during the live session yesterday and we were looking for, we already had a sell position running. Remember, since the beginning of the week, we have been selling the GBP USD. We sold at below the 1.21850. We sold below the 1.21700. And I said something here yesterday that um, as long as price remain below the 1.21700, we want to continue to add more position to our sell trade. And during the live session yesterday, we had a situation where price was juxtaposing between the 1.2 and 2.50 and we said a breakdown of that structure should be giving us an opportunity to add more position to our existing trade and remember we moved our stop loss accordingly locked in some profit below the 1.21500 and what happened afterward we saw a breakout then price actually took out of took us out of all the sell position we had had a 1.21500 level as we were able to take some small profit it was not significant anyway so it was a small profit at that point and if we take into consideration what has been happening around the 1.21250 level since the beginning of the week we will notice that this level has been a strong 
buy niche for participants in this market look at what has been happening here see what happened here on monday we saw buying niche here we saw buy pressure here again on tuesday we also saw buy pressure here again on wednesday this is a good sign that buyers are likely going to be pushing price out of the structure and on my public platform we identified the 1.215 as a level breakout of that structure should be giving us an opportunity to buy the gbp usd and in fact this is exactly what happened here we saw the breakout retest multiple retest of that structure and we were able to join that bullish momentum to the upside here as price action has continued to um jump up breaking out of the 2.1700 level so at this point in time um if you had missed out on the buy position around the 1.21500 above the 1.21700 area is a very good opportunity to add more position to our existing trade and if you continue if the price continue to climb to the upside here a further breakout of the 1.22100 level should be good opportunity to add another position to our existing trade here but one thing i would like to call our attention to here based on this current structure is the fact that since the beginning of the week as soon as price tested the 1.22100 level we have been witnessing selling pressure from that structure and in fact to emphasize the strength of the sellers we were able to identify lower highs here and look at what look at what we have here we have the beautiful bearish trend line which appears to have been broken during in the last couple of hours now we have seen the breakout of that trend line well for me at this point in time we need to be very very careful here so for those who had bought around the 1.21500 i will be suggesting that you move your stop loss to break even at this point as this could likely turn out to be a false breakout of structure so what i'll be saying here is this if price breaks down this trend line back again and come below the 1.215 level uh, we will be getting ready to sell at this point and if we are going to be selling it's going to be very very massive so we want to anticipate such setups such situations if we as we head into the new york session today so um let's move our stop loss to around the 1.21500 level let's move our stop loss there lock into our position and let's wait and see how this single candle is going to close at this point if it closes above the 1.217 then we might be getting ready to join that bullish momentum to the upside but remember if price breaks down the 1.21500 level with selling pressure below that structure we will be thinking of selling so to to be on the smarter side here i will suggest probably putting your sell stop somewhere right below the 1.215 in anticipation of a possible breakdown of that structure if it happens um remember we have a macroeconomic event coming up today the cpi it's a very huge one and we want to see um if is going to be giving some value to the dollar and if it does definitely we might likely see a breakdown of the 1.21500 level so these are my views here on the gbp usd it's a very simple setup we have here so let's anticipate any possible situation that happens here for those who have bought right now move your stop loss lock in some profit and you look forward to seeing buy pressure above the 1.217 to continue to add more position to our existing trade and the further breakout of the 1.22100 level is going to be a very good reason to add more position to our buy position here but if price drops below the 1.21700 well hold on a second we want to see a breakdown of the 1.21500 level to sell the gbp usd so that is that on the gbp usd for today i hope i've made myself clear and if to make things easy you want to screenshot my screen so that you can use it as a reference point when you're about making your personal decision on this pair and it's already time here let's quickly run through the card chf let me see what is happening there so that i can give you a hint into what your expectation could be like on that pf4 today i'll quickly run through this very fast so um i hope you don't mind so right here on the card chf we have here so this is the daily time frame here and um, let me clean my charts here hold on a second uh, remove all drawings all right uh so looking at the daily time frame here the first thing we observe here is the fact that price action has been on a bearish momentum at least since the later half of last year and as a result of this we want to be connecting the series 
series of lower highs here to give us that result and bearish trend line that you can see on your screen right now then the next thing we want to be doing now is to look at what has been happening here since the um last last month and what we notice here is the fact that we have some buy pressure coming in around the 0.6800 level so we should be identifying this level as a demand zone so at this point i would like to give this a demand zone here so let's label this we call it demand zone so we have a demand zone sitting around here so the next thing we want to be doing now is to look at what has happened since the last touch of the bearish trend line so since the last touch of the bearish trend line this is what we saw so we saw the significant bearish impulse leg that began in the month of november that is the first week of november we saw price break down and touch the 0 0.6800 level and as soon as price got into the 0 0.6800 level what we noticed here is something that looks like a reversal pattern in the form of a double bottom structure so we saw the first touch here price came into the 0 0.6900 we saw the second touch here price was unable to break the previous structure and boom what do we have here we have a setup that looks like a reversal pattern in the form of a double bottom structure and whenever we have a reversal pattern like this what is the next thing we do obviously we look out for the neckline of that reversal pattern and if we do that appropriately we should be having somewhere around the 0 0.68900 has the neckline we shall be how i stake for trading activity so for the sake of clarity we shall be labeling the neckline area at the 0 0.6900 level so so that is the neckline of the reversal pattern and to make the reversal pattern mature we want to see a breakout of the neckline to confirm that that reversal pattern is valid and what we saw here was quite interesting in the last couple of days we saw how um, um that's 0 0.6900 level which has been a selling niche for quite a while now was finally broken during the course of yesterday's trading session to confirm that this is a mature reversal pattern so for those who are taking advantage of the 0 0.6900 level that if you had bought above the 0 0.6900 level at this point well you want to be moving your stop loss right now to lock in some profit as you don't know remember we're on a bearish momentum here and you don't want to be caught in any sudden pullback that might likely happen at this point so move your stop loss to break even and let's see how far this is going to go now for those who had missed out on this bullish momentum well after a breakout of structure there is a tendency that price will come back do a retest of structure and if we start seeing buy pressure in our lower time frame around this level we want to be joining the rally to the upside so at this point in time it's more bullish at this point it's a counter trend opportunity and we already have a confirmed break um, neckline sorry we already have a confirmed reversal pattern we have a neckline already at the 0.6900 so anywhere above the 0.6900 is a very good place for us to be buying the card chf for this week or for in the next couple of weeks now where's our tp target on this one well if we take into consideration the previous impulse leg and run our fibonacci retracement tool through the previous impulse leg here we should be aiming at somewhere between the zero point the, between the 78.6 percent and the 50 percent of the previous impulse leg so we should be having the tp target for buyers here and then we should be having this area as a potential sell window uh, hold on a second potential sell window all right uh, let's place this right inside of this and we give this a green color and that we give it a yellow color here so this is what we have here right now we have this zone here and if you see how important that zone is it shares a confluence with that bearish trend line we identified earlier so there is a likelihood that we might see a situation where the breakout retails of the 0.69 will bring price back into this level we are selling pressure around this area will incite another wave of bearish momentum so this is what you should be looking out for on the card chf for today and if we scale down to the one hour time frame what can we see on the one hour time frame so this is the structure we have here on the one hour time frame um remember this is the breakout of the 0 0.6900 level hold on a second let me bring this into the screen so that we can see things more clearly here so we have the 0 0.6900 level here and that is the impulsive move that broke out of that structure 
to the upside at this point and one thing you will notice is that as soon as price got into the 0 0.69500 we have been witnessing some consolidation phase around this area further emphasizing some level of indecision in this market which is likely going to be inciting a sell-off as those who are taking advantage of this move right here will want to be taking some profit and if that is going to be happening if profit taking activities will start happening here we will be seeing that reflected on the chart as a retracement phase back into this current structure to incite another wave of bullish momentum so to make things a little bit easy for the highs to identify some trading opportunities here i will be bringing out my line chart so we connect the structure here connect the series of higher lows here so i will give this um a less thicker pixel here so we have something like this so if during the new york session today price action breaks down that trend line then we want to be seeing this as a a bearish signal and if you're a counter trend trader or a scalper you might want to take advantage of this move into the structure before the second wave of that bullish momentum happens and that will be giving you about let's see how many pips that's going to be that's about 40 pips there about so if you're a scalper i think that will be enough for you if you're a scalper so we have a channel we have a structure here to guide that move so we have the 0 0.69300 here 0 0.69300 all right so you use that 0 0.69 okay no 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 all right here is better 0 0.69350 i guess so the breakdown of the 0 0.69350 should be giving us um that sell momentum to the downside here now the other scenario the other possibility here is if price does not break down that structure and instead price continue to climb up then the 0 0.69500 the breakouts of the 0 0.69500 area should be a good opportunity to join that rally to the upside so you look out for a breakout retest respecting that bullish trend line one more time then you want to be joining that rally to the upside so these are my views here on the on the cat chf so we have uh, breakout here we buy half of the structure and if price breaks down the 0 0.69350 uh, we sell open to buy here when price comes into the structure so that is the simple setup we have here on the zero on the cat chf i hope um gabriel is still in the house if you have any questions feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section as um we do a quick recap so at this point uh, this is the last pair we're going to be taking for today so let's quickly do a recap of what we talked about today so far so the first commodity we talked about today is the u.s oil and on the u.s oil we are already have a, a, um, a profitable position running at this point in time as we um, have been having more positions since the breakout of this $75 level here and in fact we have about four or five positions running at this current time we are massively profitable on the US oil and the patience is worth it after all uh, we have been very patient as price action has been consolidating between the 76 and the $74 level since the beginning of the week which was quite uh, um, tiring but um, it's okay if you are following the technical structures judiciously and that's what that paid off actually and we already have a profitable situation running on the US oil at this point and for those who had missed out on these opportunities here yesterday and today I told you that um, we want to be remain we want to remain patient at this point as we already have a breakout of the $78 level during the early hours of today so for those who had missed out you might want to wait out and see price come to do a retest of the $78 level before we can join that rally to the upside at this point and if it doesn't well well uh, we'll guess that um, we will have to wait to see how price react to the $80 level to decide if we are going to be buying or selling so remember we have our tp target at the $80 level so if selling pressure comes in here then we might want to join the sell momentum probably back into the $78 level and if a breakout of the $80 level then that will be an opportunity to have more position to our existing trade on the US hoy then we went on to talk about the US tech for today and on the US tech also we are also profitable on the US tech as we have three 
positions running currently as we took advantage of that bullish momentum right above the 11,100 that was the second time we were buying from that level remember we bought a monthly which gave us, which gave us about 200 pips now we uh yes on tuesday we saw another opportunity here and yesterday we bought above the 11,200 and later on during the new york session yesterday we bought above the 11,300 and one thing we noticed during the live session today was the fact that certain pressure appeared to have resumed around the 11,400 level as you can see here in the last 10 to 12 hours we have been seeing that sell pressure come in at that point so at this point what we are going to be doing here for those who have missed out on this trade i've told you that we want to remain patient here and let's see if the selling pressure will continue to the downside and if it does we want to be seeing price come into um, the bullish trend line here which also shares a confluence with that eleven thousand three hundred dollar level remember that level has been a strong um selling niche at the beginning of this week it was finally broken during the course of yesterday's trading session and we might likely see a situation where price will come back do a retest of that structure to incite another wave of bullish momentum and as you can see here it also shares a confluence with that bullish trend line so um for buying momentum here if price continues to go to the downside we want to be using the bullish trend line and the eleven thousand three hundred dollar level to guide our trading activity now there is a catch here which i mentioned i said if price breaks down both the structures here that will be a good signal for selling opportunities remember that level has been a certain niche in the past and if price breaks down that structure it means sellers have come back to stay you can see what happened here before the breakout happened we saw some level of selling pressure coming in from that level so if price breaks down this bullish trend line it means that the bullish trend line is no longer strong enough to hold bullish momentum and a breakdown of the 11,300 with selling pressure below the structure in our lower time frame should be giving us an opportunity to add to join that decline to the downside however if the sell pressure we have been witnessing here in the last term um, 10 to 12 hours did not continue to the downside and instead it breaks out of the 11,400 to the upside and we start seeing by pressure above the structure in our lower time frame then this would be a good opportunity to join that rally to the upside so that is my view here on the us tech like i said if you have any questions feel free to drop your inquiries in the comment section at any time i will be checking from time to time to see if there are any questions then we went on to talk about the usd jpy where we are already in a profitable sell position at this point as we saw the breakdown of the 132.580 yesterday which we took advantage of right here we saw the breakdown retest of that structure a further breakdown of the 132.250 gives us an opportunity to add more position and another breakdown of the 131.500 welcome another position during the early hours of today and going into the new york session today remember we have a macroeconomic event coming up today um that is the cp high which is a major event that will be bringing some liquidity into the market and i told you that we are at a critical point in the market right now as price action continues to oscillate within the 131.00 level a level which i identify on the daily time frame as a major key level for price action in the last six months should i quickly show you how important is that is for those who missed out on the uh, at the beginning of the session okay let's quickly look at the daily time frame so this is the daily time frame here and this is the 131.00 level as you can see here since the break above of that structure in the month of june last year we saw that buyers have continued to um, hold this area as a strong niche for bullish momentum so you can see as long as price remains above the structure and the tendency for bullish momentum is still very very possible unless price breaks down the structure takes out the buy position here then if um a retest of that structure on our lower time frame is a good confirmation that sellers are becoming stronger at this point in the time so at this point we can see here back back to the one hour time frame we can see here that we are at the critical point in this market right now and one thing i stated here is that we are going to be looking forward to two situations here for those who have sold below the 131.500 i've told you to move your stop loss to break even at this point and wait out to see how price action is going to be 
reacting to this current structure prior to the macroeconomic event and post the macroeconomic event so what we are looking forward to here is a breakdown retest here to sell the usdjpy for today and if price does not break down the 131.00 level we are not selling remember that level is a strong buying niche since the in the last six months it has a memory for buying power so if price does not break down that structure taking out the buy positions there we are not going to be selling the usd jpy but if buy pressure continues above the structure probably price action evolves into a double bottom structure a strong reversal pattern whatever the case may be here breakout retest no lower time frame it will be a good opportunity for us to buy the usd jpy considering the fact that this level is a strong buying niche in the past so we are not selling unless price breaks down retest the 131 on our lower time frame then we went on to talk about the xau usd where we are already in the buy position right now as price action as um continue to the upside but one caveat here is the fact that the 1885 level has been a strong selling niche for participants since the beginning of this week we saw what happened here on tuesday and then we saw what happened here in the last um last 10 to 12 hours now price has continued to reject the 1885 which is giving us a sign that sellers are very strong at that particular point in time so for those who had bought above the 1876 i told you to move your stop loss to somewhere around the 1880 and let's see if the breakout of the 1885 would happen so if a breakout of the 1885 happens then that would be a good signal that buyers are strong in this market so if a breakout happens taking out all the sellers position here breaking above all the structure here then we know that buyers have come to stay and if we are lucky enough we start seeing buy pressure on our lower time frame right above the structure then we want to be adding more position to our existing trade but if that does not happen and what happened instead is selling pressure below the structure continues then we want to be waiting at this bus stop at the 1880 a level which also shares a confluence with this bullish trend line that we identified earlier so if price breaks down that structure then we want to be seeing this as a good signal to sell the xau usd followed by selling pressure below the structure we want to be joining that sell off to the downside so this is what we are looking forward to a simple setup we have here the breakout of the 1885 will guide bullish momentum and the breakdown of the 1880 will be guiding selling momentum on the xau usd then we went on to talk about the gbp usd remember we are already in the buy position here and I told you that you should move your stop loss to break even at this point as price action has finally broken out of the bearish trend line that has been guiding selling pressure since the beginning of the week. So this breakout of structure here, we are not sure is if it's going to be a true one or a false one. The only way we are going to know it's going to be a true one is if we start seeing buy pressure come in above the 1.21700 level on our lower time frame, then we are comfortable in our buy position and a further breakout of the 1.22100 level should be giving us a leverage to add more position to our existing trade now um i told you i'm still tending towards a bearish momentum considering the fact that uh we have been witnessing selling pressure since the beginning of the week and the breakout of this trend line here could turn out to be a false one so i want to be at this bus stop here waiting for selling pressure uh with your other right below the structure if price breaks down the 1.21500 with selling pressure below the structure we want to be joining that decline to the downside here on the gbp usd then we went on to talk about the card chf with um gabriel um introduced to us for today and what we were able to identify here on the one hour time frame was quite a simple setup where we've identified a channel between the 0 0.69350 and the 0 0.69500 and we also identified the fact that we had the breakout of this um, neckline of the reversal pattern we identified on the daily time frame and i said if a breakdown of the 0 0.69350 
safety happen if you are a scalper you might want to join us decline into the structure which we might be giving you about 40 pips and remember we want to be anticipating some buy pressure right around the structure at the site of a reversal pattern here to join the second wave of bullish momentum at this point however if at any point in time price does not drop down but instead it continues to climb to the upside then a breakout of the 0 0.69500 with buy pressure above the structure should be giving us an opportunity to buy the card chf for today so these are my views here uh, we were able to do like seven pairs today and i hope i was able to simulate all the possible scenarios that could happen on all the instrument we took today and hope you, i hope you screenshot my screen and so that you can use it as a reference point when you are about making your personal decision on all the pairs we talked about today and one thing i always like to say is that we don't want to be getting too excited when price action breaks out of structure if we cite a breakout of structure like an engulfing candle on probably on our 30 minutes one hour time frame we want to be scaling down to the lower time frame to look out for retest of structures supporting the direction of that breakout or breakdown before we want to be joining that rally or decline what whichever case it may be and if we don't see a retest of structure don't get caught up in the fear of missing out on that trade there is a lot and lot of opportunities in the financial market if you miss out on this one there are still a lot of opportunities out there that you can still take advantage of so it's better you don't take a trade at all than to take an unnecessary trade that could take you out in a loss so on this note i want to wish you best of luck through the new york session today and I look forward to seeing you same time tomorrow, 10 a.m. UTC, 11 a.m. West African time, as we gather here once again to review all the pairs we have been monitoring since the beginning of the week. So on this note, I wish you best of luck once again and do have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.